Amigos, welcome back to our channel, Atrocities Upon City, where today we're going to be showing you how we change all these sprinklers. It's a regular home, the sprinklers aren't too big, that one's adjustable, and we go from here, fellas, that one didn't even have a tip. So different things that we do, we're out here taking out the grass, preparing for our decomposed granite pool. So I took the opportunity to show you how sprinklers are taken care of, and this is very special, you know, every color, every sprinkler has its own theme, Some that one's a two foot so it's only spraying for two feet that one's you know same deal here is about four feet only spraying different areas and then there's adjustable ones where the curve is that's a drain there but you can see i find one here and that one there has an adjustable tip probably a four band four feet maybe six you know everything has um its purpose out here some of them are dual spray some of them are single spray it just depends just like this one this one's probably a six foot you know single spray and it sprays all the way down so that's the way it works we're going to go ahead and open the t here it's the irrigation system so you open the t and most of them have a coupling there or they have a threaded you know a threaded coupling a riser i don't know how you guys know the mask but you go ahead and unscrew the sprinkler most of these sprinklers always um, leak from the a riser it's always broken by the gardener so then you have to unscrew it and then just screw back the coupling the coupling or the riser however you guys use it a threaded riser and then it's just i think it's a one quarter so you go ahead this is a rainbird i know that i've watched a couple other of our friends and they say that hunter lasts over or they recommend hunter most so i'll be myself i'll be changing to hunter as we go but rainbird is what we thrive out here in california you know everybody mostly has hunter i mean rainbird and then we go ahead and just keep moving and progressing on how we're going to keep capping all these sprinklers right here we're not going to be needing them anymore so we're just going to be putting a threaded cap on there it just depends everybody works different some people put an insert straight into the pvc other people put a, a riser just like us today you know we do whatever it takes if they already have this they want to probably use it in the future or not we don't know so we're going to go ahead and put a riser or a riser and a cap with the thread so we go from there fellas a lot of work you guys can see paola she's becoming a professional just like me i always carry myself as an, an irrigation specialist but she's becoming very good too you know this is mostly the thing that she takes care of the most now before she was always afraid of going into it but all it takes is practice fellas anybody can do it all you have to do is keep doing it doing it the way we learn the fastest is by making mistakes you know so sometimes we break the wrong pipes and if you're in trouble or you don't know how to fix them you got to save some money and learn how to fix them so this is where we use an easy off a, a you know a knockoff many people use it but it's easy takes off all the threaded there whenever they break them and you won't be in so much trouble so let's get it going amigos what's up welcome back so we're gonna get right into the subject of why i charge 40 dollars per sprinkler today just as simple as going to the store is already 30 minutes of your time nowadays with with everything that's going on it takes you almost an hour and a half two hours just to go to the store and if you don't have the parts with you the tip the risers the caps depending on what type of sprinklers you have these are all simple sprinklers you know there's bigger sprinklers out there that i'll start getting into every time i go to one of my customers houses i'm going to start showing you guys in all my videos what type of sprinklers they have what kind of valves they are using every house in california is mostly irrigated out here you can see the holes that we use you can see that we're getting ready to keep taking dirt out you know so different things that we do out here fellas you can tell that most sprinklers out here are very simple to fix you know i haven't found anything crazy we know how to change manifold we know how to change irrigation valves we know how to change the shutoffs we can build you a system from the street up it just depends you know and all this takes practice practice licenses insurances making sure that you know what you're doing and like that you can always get more money for what you choose i remember when i was younger one of the best landscapers that i met used to charge 20 25 already flirting with 30 so today he'd probably be very proud that i charge 40. all right fellas thanks to everybody that keeps watching our videos as always we make sure that we clean every day that we come by whether it be blowing watering brooming blowing anything that it takes you know sometimes we blow twice so you got to make sure that you use the right tools we can see how much water we used here i always put plenty of water because we're moving lots of dirt we're capping all the sprinklers you know like i told you this is for a pool so i just wanted to take the time to show everybody that sprinklers are easy to work with and all you have to do is go ahead and throw yourself out there and get it done you know i'll keep showing bigger sprinklers so thanks to everybody that watches auc amigos